Cartagena, we found the perfect spot to start our day, a little cafe called Arasu Un Cafe. It's a coffee shop that sells all different kinds of food. As you can see, we have fresh fruit, fresh, uh, fresh juices. Uh, I had a croissant sandwich. My daughter was even able to have Sancancha soup at that time of morning. It was a great way to start our birthday off. The food was excellent and they do give you very, fairly large portions. So if you're in Cartagena, make sure you look this place up. They will even come to your table customized Colombian coffee at the table for you. So it was a great place. The okay, ambience was wonderful. And these are, I don't know what they are. <laughs> agua, 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 yeah. agua. Good, y'all. It's meat, it's corn, and aguya, aguayate. I don't know, we have to look it up. It's like a Colombian potato. And then we have the quesa waffles. Garlic rice. Um, what are these? Cheese waffles. Yeah. Yeah. Good. You have to like pick it up and dip it, I think. It's too hard to cut. This is it. That's this cafe doing it, not normal. Man, so good. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. After breakfast, we thought we'd just take a walk around Centro, just enjoy the sights and sounds of Cartagena. As you can see, it's very, it's very busy even early in the morning. So we had an opportunity to walk around and we wanted to make sure that we got to take pictures with the fruit ladies, which, which are called pollen kettles.
Later on that night, we decided to go to Gethsemane or Gethsemane and have for, uh, dinner uh, for our birthday at the Sylvia Trattoria. As you can see, Gethsemane is a very busy little area of Cartagena. You can see people, uh, vendors are selling. You can see the many restaurants, the many places, nightlife, uh, so many lively things going on. You see the men playing dominoes. So it's just a lot to do. It's a whole lot going on all at the same time. I love it. Cartagena has a few skyscrapers here. I guess you would call that maybe tall buildings. And down here, here's the neighborhood. Uh, I believe this is Teriste. As you can see, it's just a uh, people living, people living life here. See a lot of motorbikes. You can see the guy down there with the fruit. Selling fruit. You know, I even seen somebody with a donkey, so it's like a mixture. You you got a car on one one part, one end of the street, then on the other end of the street, I saw somebody pulling a cart. So I was kind of, you know, I don't know if it's just a mixture of everything. I have to ask my daughter. She, right now, my daughter's an expat, so she'll be here for a little while. And she travels, and so she gets right in the heart of it. not very far from uh, Central, which is the center of town. But oh, wow. I don't feel like middle.
restaurant Pepe Anka in Centro had a unique concept. Not only did they have live entertainment, but they also had huge teddy bears in the chairs. So if you came and you were eating alone, you would have a teddy bear to sit in the chair beside you so you would not feel alone. I thought that was so cute. The food was, uh, the, as you can see, the presentation, the food was great. Uh, my daughter had the fish, I had the chicken, uh, fries, and had that nice little salad right there. I don't know why they always have fries everywhere we go, but it was good. My ex fat daughter who lives in Colombia, and she's taking us around to see all of the sites and everything that's here. Um, yeah, so, we're gonna go to the Fox Tower or the Wall City. So, we're actually standing right now, the and wall, they built it to keep the Spaniards out, so they went and enslaved them. Okay, it's a very that's your, it's kind of cool. how you say what's the word, huh? I think a detrimental city for history for black people. Yeah, it's very pivotal. Uh, it's very vital, pivotal. There's the harassing people. So now we walk inside the clock tower, and we're in the we're in the wall city, y'all. So the Wall City, as we can see, is the place. It's very historical. Um, events took place here because the wall was built to keep the Spaniards out. And so you can see the colorful buildings here. This is the church, y'all. It is Sunday, and so we're standing in front of the old church. Let's just go take a look in it. Hola. Yo tengo. Oh, yo tengo, bonita. So we're just walking down in old in the uh, Wall City. So as you can see, it's quite slow. It's early in the morning. It's Sunday, and so there's not a lot of people out here yet. They are having church. You'll notice as I walk around here, there's a lot of Afro-Colombian culture. So it, you do have the Colombians here, but you also have the, some of the African-Americans from the island of Baru. We also have the Palenque from Palenque. You just see us, I took pictures with the Palenquetas, which is the ladies that you see with the fruit on their head. There's one right there. And they're actually from Palenque, which is the first uh, a place where the African
African slaves ran and it is the first place that the Africans ever was free in the whole world. So hopefully I'll get to go to Palenque, but that's where they came from. And yeah, and they settled there and they hid back. It's about an hour away from Cartagena and they settled there in that place. It's surrounded by hills and mountains of wood. That's why it's called Palenque. That's what that means. And that's where they are still there. And the African culture is still very much there. Uh, the um, Palenque women come into town and they do photos with the women or whoever wants a photo with them. She's asking now for, for a picture. Oh, yeah. It's crazy because American men are so scary to talk to women. Oh, look the way they're doing it. Yeah. They're doing it ain't right, though. And you also see when you're here in Cartagena, you see the street performers everywhere. You'll see the guys that are rapping. And one thing about it, I can say, even though some of these people may be in a situation, uh, you know, but they are working at least. So I, I do give them credit that they are doing a service. No problem. You get them. You in the pit? Yeah. The lady beautiful. Yes, yes. Your fruit is beautiful. In my pocket. I changed the mind because I was trying to see if. Yeah. You went up with a lady, Fred, that's mango sweet. Do you actually put the cake? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Go. Gotta get content if you know you know. I know I'm ignoring him. We're all vloggers and yes, YouTubers, girl, so we got to work it out. Tell me when you started. I've been started. This is just a little behind the scene footage Don't of what we this. actually do. But okay. what better place to do it in beautiful Cartagena? You fake. My daughter Ashley always have to add a little bit more spice to it. I got you, mommy. I got you. She is the queen. Come on, Rihanna. Welcome to the Central and we're now in Gethsemane. 
And so this is the place where you can find the most iconic spots to uh, videotape, I mean, to take pictures, I'm sorry. To take pictures, it's very iconic spots here. And uh, so we're gonna go there and we're gonna see uh, what they have here and get something to eat too. So let's go. Oh, really? Seriously? Who's playing music? Stay hang up. Who's playing music though? so bad. It's, like a, it's a slop, y'all. Look at that. You can hardly see, huh? Let me try to zoom in. The Sylvia. Is that what it's called? The Sylvia? The Sylvia, yeah. The Sylvia have chicken, mushrooms, uh, Parmesan cheese, and a garlic cream sauce. Oh, so good. What is tomorrow? Mm, I forgot what it's called. It's called Marine Meat. So it has clams, squid, um, shrimp. I feel like I'm missing something else. Mussels, too. Mussels. I got olive oil and I got parmesan cheese on the side. Actually, it's eating. This is it's Maria Monte. It's the uh, shrimp with the garlic, uh, wine sauce, Alfredo, mushroom. So yeah, what it do? And we are in Colombia. Yes, we're eating pasta, and this is a peppermint lemonade. This is so good, as you can see. It's real mint leaves so it's more like a smoothie it's very good so this is my second time coming to this restaurant y'all pray so we're back at this restaurant again for the second time when you come to Colombia you they have pasta they have many foods from around the world so yeah we're back here but later we will go and get street food so hang on 
if you notice in all of the restaurants, there's always pets and cats. I don't know. He burned it up. The Silvio food is okay. It's great, guys. So when you're in Cartagena, make sure you go to the Silvio. Oh, at pasta for pasta, it's Italian food, and it was good. So you get an opportunity to come and do that. So now, as you can see, all of the colorful mural and the graffiti in Gethsemane. It is definitely an art district where. The Silvio. Look at all of the beautiful art. Oh my God. Due to the music that was playing in Gethsemane, I had to insert some background music. So enjoy the beautiful artwork. who you are you are the sun you are the earth you are the tree of life before you were crowned king and queen by your ancestors you are just you are not just regular people you're a chosen people a royal priesthood a consecrated nation a special people so that you may proclaim the wonderful deeds and virtues of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light go walk in your purpose and let your light shine shine bright this wall is dedicated to you and to those who went before us we are our ancestors wildest dreams Sean W. Roseburg, New York City.
Y'all, they serious about this down <laughs> These Colombian cumbia dancers you will find all over the historic center of Cartagena. This dance originated from Colombia and Panama. Uh, this folkloric dance is the country's national dance. As you can see, the African influence, because it was influenced by Africans uh, who come over and came over enslaved by the Spanish colonizers. You can also hear the European and even the indigenous element, and it represents a courtship. It is believed that this dance reflects a life of slavery, colonialism, and revolution. 
The link to slavery can be observed by the small steps in the dance with the weight mostly in one foot, which some say represent the ball and chain worn around the ankles of slaves. If you notice the dancers, you will notice that they continue to do that one little beat, uh, one little hop on that one foot that represents the ball and chain. You will find these street performers all over in that in, in the historic center, as we said. You can see them on the outskirts as you watch the others that we just watched previously, and you can also see them inside of the historic centers. Uh, this dance is so important uh, that there are even academies or dance programs in universities that teaches these traditional dances. You can hear the four by four rhythm and the African drums. Uh, the enslaved Africans, which were brought over by the Spanish colonizers, uh, influence these dances and you can hear the melody of the Colombian flutes and maracas as well. So as you watch this dance, enjoy it and know that it is being influenced by so many different cultures. Uh, Cartagena, I find out, was very, um, uh, very uh, a, a, a menagerie or a, a plethora or a mixture of the African culture, which I did not expect. Enjoy these dancers. A sweet ending to our day, Starbucks Coffee.